hello everyone in this lecture we'll see a problem based on complex integration a problem is prove that integration of dz divided by z minus a equal to 2 pi i and second one integration of z minus a raised to n of dz equal to 0 where n is any integer not equal to what here minus 1 and where c is the circle that is mod of z minus a equal to r solution the parametric equation C is z minus a is equal to r into e raised to i theta. You have to remember this. This is very important. So z minus a is always what here. Parametric equation is what here. r into e raised to i theta. Where, where theta e varies, varies from 0 to 2 pi. Because circle means it is uh, varies from 0 to 2 pi as 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 z describe c once in the positive sense once in the positive sense You can observe here. Just uh, I will draw a rough diagram. So x-axis, y-axis, circle, center O. So radius R, the point right here is Z, and it makes the angle theta. Now, z minus a is nothing but r into e raised to i theta, where theta is nothing but what it varies from 0 to 2, to 2 pi. If you differentiate, differentiate, it will become differentiation of dz is, uh, z is dz, differentiation of a which is constant 0 equal to here r into, we have to differentiate theta here only so r into e raised to i theta as it is and uh, differentiation of e raised to i theta is i times d theta so on rearrangement dz is equal to i into r into e raised to i theta into d theta so therefore with the help of this we will go for the first requirement that is we need to find the integration of 1 upon z minus a of dz is equal to we have to show answer 2 pi so let's see the first part that is integration over the c 1 divided by z minus a of dz equal to which is nothing but integration so c means circle is varies from 0 to 2 pi 1 divided by z minus a so z minus a is r into e raised to i theta r into e raised to i theta into dz value we got i r e raised to i theta into d theta i r e raised to i theta into d theta so once we get this go for the simplification so you can see that r r cancel e raised to i theta e raised to i theta cancel i which is a constant take outside only d theta is left here so which is nothing but i times integration 0 to 2 pi d theta which is nothing but i times 
integration of d theta is theta integration from 0 to 2 pi. So therefore i times apply upper limit 2 pi minus 0 that is 2 pi i. So which is the required result here of first. So similarly we will go for the second now. So second one is integration over c z minus a whole raised to n of d z which is nothing but integration again 0 to 2 pi z minus a is nothing but r into e raised to i theta is whole raised to n as it is and dz is nothing but i r e raised to i theta into d theta so on simplification so if you open the bracket 0 to 2 pi r into i is a constant we will keep outside so r into r is r square e raised to i theta into e raised to i theta uh, so here uh, so you uh, it is not r square so if you open the bracket this bracket r raised to n it will become uh, r whole raised to n is nothing but r raised to n so e raised to i theta raised to n is nothing but e raised to i n theta then this i already taken out r e raised to i theta d theta which is nothing but i times integration 0 to 2 pi r raised to n into r will become what here r raised to n plus 1 and similarly r raised to i n theta into e raised to i theta will become e raised to i n theta plus i theta into d theta so which is nothing but i times integration 0 to 2 pi r raised to n plus 1 into e raised to i n theta plus i theta so we will take i and uh, theta common so it will become e raised to i of n plus 1 of theta into d theta or here r is a constant so it will become keep i r raised to n plus 1 outside integration of e raised to i uh, i times n plus 1 of theta with respect to theta is e raised to i times n plus 1 of theta divided by i times n plus 1 limit from 0 to 2 pi. So, which is nothing but i times r raised to n plus 1 this divided by I will take here so i times n plus 1. So, if you apply upper limit as uh, theta as 2 pi it will become e raised to i n plus 1 of 2 pi minus lower limit if you apply it will become 0 into entire thing then e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 so therefore on final simplification so the resultant will be means you have to apply the above result as for this but remember but always remember e raised to i times n plus 1 of 2 pi is always 1 on simplification so you will use this result directly so it will become so 1 if you apply 1 here so that is r raised to n plus 1 this i i cancel divided by n plus 1 so 1 minus 1 so which is nothing but 0 so therefore therefore we can conclude that integration over c z minus a raised to n of dz is 0 so in this way we have to simplify a problem based on complex integration.